So, I'm going to be making, as you can see, chicken drumsticks with a homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. And fried mushrooms and a side salad. So, you guys ready for this? If you're ready for this, say, I am friggin' ready for this in chat. And put a Frank or Z, and I will be satisfied. So, slam it down, and I will start this. If you guys are ready... ready all right good good I'm glad to see you guys are all ready for this all right okay so let me get my this is what I'm gonna put my mic my uh, webcam on big friggin coffee pot oh yeah actually that's not gonna be big enough like I said this is a complete test episode oh yeah so give you an aerial view oh baby Hey, Mousem. All right, guys, so I gotta get this started before I, don't, I run out of time or some shit. Okay. So this is a very straightforward episode. What I have here is a baking sheet. Oh, baby, baking sheet, oh yeah. So I just need one baking sheet. I have a bunch of spices here, which I will show you. So first, when I make chicken drumsticks, oh, babe. When I make chicken drumsticks, I do two things, here we go. So I have pepper here, a big thing of pepper. Oh yeah, a frig ton of pepper. <laughs> a frig ton of pepper, here we go. And salt, oh yeah. <laughs> okay guys, bear with me. All right, let me make this quite clear. Dem legs, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, that wasn't aimed at the camera. I was going to do a, you know, uh, ass bump, but it's not there. This is going to be on my YouTube. Um, still need to rinse the chicken after, uh, after unwrapping them. Yeah, yeah, this is just like a bullshit episode, so don't worry. Chef's amount of salt right there. Oh, yeah, see, my, my health is fine, so anyway. So, uh, salt, oh man, I can see that salty motion coming in. Hot. So, everything I put in this is completely, you can do whatever you want. This is just what I'm doing. You can put any amount of spices in this, but here we go. Bear with me. This is what I'm going to use, so get ready for this. Okay. So, what I have here is cinnamon. Oh yeah, let's see if I can get that in the shot. Cinnamon. Nope, I'm just going to put about, you know what, I will get a tablespoon so you guys know what I'm talking about. Or a teaspoon. So, here we go. So, I'm going to do one. I'll do two. Or one and a half. I, I, I seriously never measure with, like, spoons or any of this shit. I dump things in, but I don't want to be, I know people find it really confusing, so I won't do that. So, I did my cinnamon there. Here we go. Chili powder. So, two chili powders. Oh, by the way, mods. I, I forgot to tell mods because I know there's going to be a lot of new people here. Maybe. But mods, ban or time out anyone that says the word wrong. Because there is no wrong when you're cooking. If someone says I'm doing something wrong, just time them out. Or even straight up ban them. I, I don't mind. Uh, because that's just, you know, speaking cooking wise and not speed running or playing games or whatever. You can't do anything wrong in a kitchen. You know, you can do stuff. There's better ways of doing things and, and whatnot and all that stuff. But in terms of doing something completely wrong, that's just not possible. Unless it tastes bad, then yeah. 
Uh, it's com I know it's coming in so hot. Yeah, everyone's going to say wrong and shit. I know, I know, I know. Um, but, yeah, there is no wrong. If it tastes good, you did it right. If it tastes good, you did it right. So, yeah. Just saying. Oh, fuck. I knew everyone would fucking start the shit. Okay, whatever, whatever. All right, so. Now I'm going to put a bit of cumin. Oh, boy. Oh, let's see. Close up. Cumin. The cumin. Cumin. Just a little bit of that. Oh, baby. Yeah, there we go. Boom. That's enough. And now I'm going to do cayenne. So this is cayenne. This is super spicy. So I only add a... T if you add more than... If you add more than like this much, you're going to have a spicy dish. So I'm just putting on a little bit. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Caraway seeds. Caraway. I sort of smudged it, but it says caraway. Oh, yeah. Caraway seeds. And anise seeds. Oh, baby. Just dump them in. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for chicken wings especially. It's just like, or chicken drumsticks. Measurements do not matter at all. So, uh, overcooking a steak is wrong. Yeah, that's true. Bring on the spice. Oh, yeah. And, uh, so, uh, Here we go. I'm just gonna crush two cloves of garlic. Here we go. Where's my garlic crusher? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just crush them down with my knife. Mm. Mm. Get this garlic out. Oh, baby. I'm fumbling. I'm getting such bad RNG. All right, two cloves of garlic. Boom, and my garlic press. Check it out. This is a garlic press. Watch the magic here. Mm. Boom. Now, now knowing me, now there's something you can get that's called bad, uh, bad oven RNG, and that means when you cook something, it burns. That's not, that's no good. So, uh, I'm gonna put on, I should have done this first, I should have done this first, but you know, whatever. You should put oil on before you do anything, but this is the first episode, so you know what? This is, this should be called a YOLO episode. Lots of oil. This is just grapeseed oil, by the way. Grapeseed oil has a super high smoke point, so you never have to worry about, oh fuck, I need to mix this up. But you never need to worry about uh, anything. So I'm gonna use my hands here. Oh, get right in there, oh yeah. <laughs> Get all those spices nice and mixed. And you know what? You can mix spices before you put them in the bowl. That would probably work better. Hey, hey. That would work way better, definitely. But this is episode one. I didn't have anything planned, so this is just roll with it. Roll with me. Let's roll together. Alright. So. Gonna wash my hands, obviously. Washing those hands, oh yeah. I should have like six cameras. So when you're dealing with chicken, this is obvious, I don't need to say this, but always taste your raw chicken before you use it because, uh, yeah, uh, just kidding. Uh, be very careful with chicken. Always wash your hands very thoroughly when dealing with chicken, obviously, I think. But all right, so here we go. So. Normally when doing chicken wings, I would put parchment paper on this or wax paper. But I don't have any parchment or wax paper, so I am going to put oil on it and it's going to stick like a mother frigger. So don't be surprised when I pull it out and it sticks hard. So, or I could put flour on the uh, chicken wings and they probably wouldn't stick. But, you know what? I'm not that kind of guy. I'm going to oil her up. And you need some of this. Thank you, sir. Come here. Oh boy. There we are. Here we 
go. Jimmy rig. And by the way, no one take this as professional cooking at all. This is at home cooking. I am not making a big deal out of anything. I could change up everything in the professional scene. But like, this is just, this is just a fun show on Twitch. So, uh, roll with it. Oh yeah. So now we take our drumsticks my baby boys here this should be easy hello looking for some tongs here all right here we go little mad hatter what is up noob cybot oh yeah i'm cooking all right so let's put all these on here i have my oven preheated to six six hundred three seventy five degrees fahrenheit these are gonna these are gonna stick like a mother frigger, but that's what you want. You want them nice. Just kidding. I, I I wish I had parchment paper, but I don't. So what I'm trying to do here is, uh, so I'm making sure that the fat the skin side is down. So when you cook on the skin side, boom, it'll get nice and crispy. I am gonna flip these about halfway through, but. <sighs> So now we're going to overcook these like hell. So 375 degrees in the oven, Fahrenheit. I'm going to put them in for 20 minutes. So here we go. Oh shit. Uh, let me do some renovating here. Oh yeah. Turn the cam. There we go. Do some renovations here. Pop. In we go. Oh, yeah! Boom! All right, we're done, though. All right, next up. Let's... Huh, my crotch! <laughs> oh! I should, I should have labeled this for mature audiences, because there's going to be a lot of crotch. Oh, wait, wait. Get lost. There's going to be a lot of crotch. Be a lot of crotch. <clears throat> okay, cool. So I'm going to leave these spices here. I'm, I might put some of the same spices in the barbecue sauce. So anyways, this is going to be an easy, easy barbecue sauce. A simple barbecue sauce. Oh, I really hope I have ketchup. Hey, hey. All right, so. I just have a red onion here. So I've got a red onion here. Big bowl, yeah. You guys don't need to see the bowl. All right, I just have an onion here. You can do whatever you want with this onion. I'm just gonna, by the way, here's my knife. I know a lot of people have requested to see my knife. There it is. Grand Chef Takeyuki. Boom, bam. Greetings from Broadway. Greetings from Prince Edward Island, Canada. Oh boy. So, uh, yeah. Grand Chef Takeyuki, baby boy, oh yeah. Zombie coffee, what is up? What's my favorite kind of meat? Oh yeah. All right, let's get this started. So I'm just gonna cut, oh yeah, okay. I need to put this differently. There we go, I'm cutting one down there. You don't even need to do, you don't need to do anything. So that's all I did. Now I'm gonna cut like a housewife. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever the frig you want. Boom, one red onion. That's all I'm doing. Oh yeah, you're right, Stray Club. <laughs> all right, anyways. Okay, so, uh, so we have a red onion here. You know, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do something crazy. Right, here we go. And now we have a white onion here. Bathe in the glory of the white onion. Here we go. So, hey! Oh, okay. I thought I was super delayed, but I'm not delayed, am I? Brad's or chef? So, cut that in half. 
we are going to take, I'm going to take an extra layer off because, you know what? Freak it. I'm going to do the same thing with this in half. Boom. You know, you got your white onion. I may as well do the other one. So who wants to put in a white onion? Oh, yeah. So, we got our onions, baby. Yeah. All right, so, now let's go to the pot. Not that kind of pot, you. All right. Let's get nice and in there. Let's get in there. Start a fire, if we're so in there. Okay, so I'm going to put this on medium to high heat, and as you can see, I have grapeseed oil. Again, high smoke point, really good to use on the uh, stovetop. That speed, Bubbler Prince, coming in hot. Watch the cam take a dip in that bowl. Oh, oh, wait, oh. it's going to take a dip in that bowl. There's going to be a fire first episode, just watch. That's my life. So. Put some, some oil. Let that heat up. Yeah. I would love if this. Oh, 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 oh. This, this could be a this could be a fucking fantastic idea or a terrible idea. Come on. This camera was like 20 bucks. Please. That's garbage. All right. Yeah, test it. Oh, oh. Now. Yeah. I shouldn't have freaked with it. I shouldn't have freaked with it. Like I said, uh, you know, this is the first episode. It's gonna be cheap. Are you fucking kidding me? Good enough. Good enough. Get GoPro head strap. Damn, that would be something. So, I'm gonna add my onions. Boom. White onions, red onions. Cut them, however. Yeah, add them a bit early. Oh boy. So, uh, what we're making now is the barbecue sauce. So, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. Actually, I have a really good idea right off the bat on my head. So, here we go. So if you want to make a good wortus, I mean, if you want to make a good barbecue sauce, this is easy, easy. So I'm going to make this is like the best barbecue sauce, or or you will get a good barbecue if you do exactly what I'm about to tell you to do. Uh, all right. So, this makes a friggin' awesome barbecue sauce every single time. Brown sugar, whatever. Brown sugar, I have golden yellow sugar, but just brown sugar works. Brown sugar, Worcester sauce, or Worcester sauce, whatever you want to call it. You know, Worcester, Worcester, whatever. And molasses. You can leave this out. I'm adding this just for fun. But, report for Nacho and Gaming. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this, just like last time. Oh. 
So yeah, you can you can put salt and pepper in your food before or after you make it. Um, and if someone says otherwise, well, uh, that's just your opinion, dude. So um, here we go. So I'm just waiting for the on onions to get translucent. You can't even fucking see them. I'm just waiting for the onions to get translucent, which literally means you can almost see through them. Oh, baby. And, uh, yeah, salt. There it is. Man, I'm going to be seeing that salt icon a lot, eh? So the onions are nice and translucent now, so you know what? For fun? Yeah, that's sanitary. Yeah. I'm going to add Worcester sauce. So here we go. This is the Worcester sauce. Oh, yeah. Come on, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. So I added like a quarter of the bottle or whatever. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, you don't have to do this in any particular order. Barbecue sauce doesn't really matter. This isn't even a technique. This is me derping hard. So, I mean, don't worry. I the brown sugar. Oh, yeah. Let's do a lot. I added about uh, half to a third cup of sugar there. It's okay, you don't have to add salt to anything. Salt is not a main ingredient. Well, it's like the main ingredient in everything, but you don't have to add it. Uh, so, I'm just mixing the brown sugar and the uh, Worcestershire sauce. There we go. Now I'm going to add a bit of molasses. And you know what would work really well with this? If with the onions I added some chopped bacon. Oh baby, that would have been good. But I don't have any bacon. I don't have like any ingredients, but any oh Lord Rage oh yeah Lord Rage in the house did I? Um so yeah. Um I'm gonna add some molasses now. Here we go. Mm. Yeah. I wish I had a follow notification. So I added about two tablespoons of molasses there. To stir that around. By the way, guys, just a refresher. This is not, like, this is not five-star cooking. I'm just trying to show you guys simple ways to cook simple things at home with no confusion. So, uh, molasses look like oil. So yeah, mods, keep that in mind. Um, the whole doing things wrong. It's, no, 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 no. So, uh, I'm just gonna take that off the heat so I can talk. Um, so next I'm gonna add, so. Ketchup. Bear with me, President's Choice, turning upside down. Jack. Ketchup. Here we go. I'm adding about a cup or two cups of ketchup. Yeah! All right, here we go. So I added some ketchup. Mm. 
Actually, I'm gonna add way more. Oh, baby. See, I'm not really caring about measurements at all, so you don't have to eat it. This is sriracha. I am cooking chicken drumsticks. Did I forget to set the timer? Oh boy. Uh oh. Really good camera stand. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh shit, nice. Here we go. Can you see that? Oh, perfect. Okay. So, all right. Why'd you drop me? <laughs> so I'm adding sriracha now. Just, you know, some sriracha, sriracha chili sauce. I'm just gonna add a bit. You add however much you want. You know, it, it just makes it spicy, so. So, a bit of sriracha. Now, you always have to add mustard, sort of, to barbecue sauce, well, if you want to. I have Pomeray mustard. I'd much rather Dijon. Pomeray doesn't work as well, but I'm gonna put the Pomeray in. Not as much as I normally would, but anyways. Oh yeah. So now the most important part, here we go. Let's give it a taste. So this is the most important part. You guys ready for this? Oh. This is freaking good. This is really good. Worcester sauce because you know you taste you taste your stuff you add whatever you want but if I just did it like this it'd be fine. I don't it. A bit more Worcester and a bit more brown sugar. And never be afraid to get water in anything you cook, especially sauces, because water is just neutral flavor. It uh, just makes the sauce thinner, and it's just neutral flavor. So if you want to bulk up a sauce that has a lot of a lot of flavor already, just add some friggin' water. All right. So, all this over there. So, that's good enough for me. Now, okay, for this next part, keep in mind, if you don't have one of these, thank you. Hey, White Mage Becky, what is up? Big shout out to White Mage Becky because I wouldn't have been able to do this without her and many other people, but I got some literal, I got literal, I read your thing and I said literal. Uh, I got some nice donations for a laptop and now, yeah. So if you don't have this at home, you can just either cut the onion smaller or do whatever you want. 
The sexual tension is unbelievable. Oh, yeah. So you can do whatever you want. Um, but I call this a blitzer. There's many other names. Let's just stick with blitzer. An immersion blender. That's what you would find at a store. You don't need one of these, but I use it all the time. So. Uh, immersion blender. Okay. All right, so. Oh boy. I need that sauce poured all over me. Sam and Ridley are losing their shit in the background. Uh, but, all right. Anyways, so, this is an immersion blender. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to mute the mic because, oh boy. All right, now that it's all blitzed up, our sauce is done. Let's give her a taste. I'm gonna use the same spoon because it's mine. Here we go. Oh yeah, that is a freaking awesome barbecue sauce, baby. Let's move that aside. I, so is anyone having any trouble following what I do? Am, do you need more information? So what's the consensus that you guys have come to? Yeah! <laughs> Kids getting home from school, Jesus. Alright. So next. So I, I will have three cameras soon and it'll work so much better, but I mean, I'm going to, I'm just going to do simple fried mushrooms for my vegetable. You almost always want to meet a vegetable. I'm actually going to have two vegetables. Uh, I could have cooked rice, but I'm going to have two vegetables for this. Um, just because veggies are good. All right. So timer went out there. Alright. Where the hell are my gloves? Alright, here we go.
Alright, so these are looking sexy. Oh yeah, I, sp I did a spin, I was all ready, but I, then I forgot what I was gonna do. All right, so we're just gonna give these a turn. Baby, yeah, like I said, they're gonna stick because I don't have any parchment paper, but you know what? They're not sticking that bad. So I'm not, I'm not hurting for a squirting. Hey, would you shut it? Hey, what I tell you? Oh my God. If you... Yeah, that's right. You just gotta tell it a few times. So we're gonna put these back in. All right, so now, hey, I thought I told you. So we're gonna put in another 20 minutes, whatever. It's really hard to burn chicken drumsticks because they're so juicy, like no matter what. But I've seen them burnt before. Uh, what the H-E double am I doing? All right, so. A bowl. I have brown mushrooms here. Let's just call them brown mushrooms. So I have brown mushrooms here. I have a bunch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a few of them. This is dinner for one, so I mean, like 50 of them. I'm going to take my chef's knife. You need these in a kitchen. I'm going to be honest. And if you don't have one, paring knife is good. What the heck am I doing? All right, bleach the hair, please. So, we're gonna cut the mushrooms. You can do it however you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. You don't have to you don't have to cut like that. I, I Here. So, just for an example with one more mushroom, you can do this as well. See? How I have the script? You can do that if you want to. Um, I'm getting sweaty. Let's see, slow clap. Speed run. Yeah. Speed hack, yeah. Hacks or you'll have some finger in your mushrooms, yeah. It, it, it is a little difficult at first, but once you get the whole you know, fingers behind, you know, fingers. If you cut like this, you're gonna cut your fingers off. If you cut like this, you know. Um, yeah, one sec. Duty calls, oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so we got our sauce done, we got our... If you're late to the show, I made a... Uh, I made a... Molasses... 
ketchup, or molasses, Worcester sauce, and brown sugar. Uh, barbecue sauce, the, these are the three main ingredients. Boom, we got our molasses, fancy molasses. Sesame. Got our brown sugar. And, and the Worcester sauce. So, yeah. Um, that is. All right, so, anyway. <clears throat> Listen to those birdies chirping out there. This stream is cool. Thank you, Kira. That knife looks like a murder scene setup. There he goes, even us in the cold. Yeah. We're double the viewers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this gets more viewers than speed runs. <laughs> uh, but, you know. I'm just glad people are enjoying this, and hopefully, are you guys getting any knowledge of this? Do you, do you guys think, like, after watching this, you could go into a kitchen and attempt half of what I'm making, or even the whole thing, or, you know? Samus, if you don't stop barking, I swear to God. <clears throat> so we got 15 minutes left on that. I'm gonna start the mushrooms. So again, like always, you can use butter, you can use whatever. I'm gonna use grapeseed oil for this. I'm gonna fry mushrooms in grapeseed oil. So I'll tell you the trick to making good mushrooms. One sec. Man, this is a ghetto setup. Holy shit. This setup will become a lot better soon. I just need some time. So, um, I have, I have, uh, shit. What am I even talking about? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so I'm, I have grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil has an extremely high smoke point. Uh, this is gonna be an everyday thing award. Uh, it's two, two times speed. I, I have something that's in grapeseed oil and I, no, I can't do that. Anyway, um, grapeseed oil has an extremely high smoke point and you always wanna fry mushrooms at maximum heat so the water comes out very quickly. It just makes a better mushroom. Anyways, I don't know the science behind it. I just know grapeseed oil. And with mushrooms, you're gonna have to add a bit more oil as you go because they absorb a lot of oil and, and stuff. And do beans on toast, do beans. I'm gonna do every single thing all over again. And I'm sorry, no follower notification. Usually I have a really sweet one, but I thought it would get a little out of hand and interrupt me. I will make a new one. It'll be super awesome, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, I don't have one, but for any new followers, thank you so much for the follow. I usually speed run Resident Evil or Silent Hill or many games. I plan on doing a lot of games, but anyways, I'm going to do this every day. So it is going to be an everyday thing. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm usually so good with chat, but it's so hard, uh, when doing this, uh, to be honest. <sighs> Looking nice. So you literally want to wait. So my smoke alarm is probably going to go off because it sucks. And it always goes off for no reason. No reason. Um, so I'm going to wait till that pan is smoking hot. And then I will add the mushrooms. The key to making good mushrooms is... You got to hear that... Noise. Um... San Andreas speedrun. I'm getting hot as and sweaty in here. I'm gonna start knee bumping soon. So uh, next on the list, uh, this is called a glass of water. So first we're gonna get a glass. We're gonna pour some water. And you guys are probably getting nostalgia from yesterday's test episode, but this is the best part. <sighs> yeah, I can make anything retro. Anything. What brand of pans do I use? Mostly Paderno. Uh, only because they had a huge sale. So it is. It's not smoking hot. 
All right, so we're just gonna wait till it gets smoking hot. All right, it's finally smoking hot. Here we go, here we go. So the key to mushrooms, super high heat. Watch me spill them all over the place. I get such bad RNG with mushrooms. I season before and after. Now, you, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Boy, he uses a shite ton of salt. Well, you know what? You sit back and eat your saltine crackers and your, and your, and your produce food. Anyways, adding, if, if you don't eat food that's already made, which I don't, adding salt to food is like, it's nothing. You, you don't have to worry about that. But, you know, take that comment with a grain of salt. Hey. <laughs> Meatball. Now you don't want to do this at home. Like an idiot, I saved one mushroom. One mushroom. So I'm going to put it in the fridge. Someone's going to like that one mushroom. So that's the key to mushrooms. I'm going to just let those cook and I'm going to start something else now. So just one sec. Here we go. Mamma mia. No, oh, Paul. Ah, no, I won't do that. So, uh, next I'm going to be making a salad. Now, here we go. This is going to be, you'll see. <clears throat> so I make this all the time. Uh, the sauce and maple syrup. Dijon. I hate Pommery mustard. Well, I don't hate Pommery mustard, but I don't have any Dijon, so that's why you keep seeing this. If I had Dijon, everywhere that I use Pommery so far, I'd replace with Dijon mustard. So even this, this one's a big time replacer, but anyway. So I'm going to make an emulsion here, which just means it's going to bind together all the other ingredients very well. So in a thing, in a portion cup, I'm going to add some Dijon. Or Pomeray. Pomeray mustard, oh yeah. And I'm going to add some maple syrup. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So about like once, 
Celine Dijon. So one, uh, like one small spoonful of, of mustard and then however much maple syrup you friggin' want. Not like a cup, but you know, quarter cup, whatever you want to do. Now I'm just going to mix these together. I am so hot. Or, I mean, sweaty. So. There we go. Oh, yeah! So. Now that we have our maple syrup and our mustard mixed together, I'm going to add balsamic vinegar. Balsamic vinegar. Here we go. So, let's let's measure this so I don't confuse anyone. This is a good thing to measure. Uh, so, I have a tablespoon here. So, here we go. So two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. I'm spilling it everywhere. These mushrooms are shit. So, uh, Jesus. Um, anyways, so now we mix them together. Oh yeah! Who? Alright, so our sauce is done. Damn, that tastes so good. Alright. Hello? Uh, derp, 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 derp. So I'm going to wash these tomatoes before I use them. I'm just going to have a few tomatoes. This is going to be a very simple, simple salad, but the best salads are simple. So. I'm just going to, my knife clearly isn't sharp enough for this. So I'm going to scrap that idea. And do it this way. And what I have here is a leaf blend product of PEI, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, I normally would use a serrated knife. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't use a serrated knife for tomatoes. If my knife was actually sharp enough, I could have done that very easily, but it's just not sharp enough. Um, but yeah, serrated works really well with tomatoes. That is very true. But if you have a very sharp chef's knife, that works just as well or better. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, I meant to show you guys. This is going to look like a crap salad. Well, that's the name I'll give it, crap salad. So, um, just a salad.
Yeah, let's put some things on there. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <coughs> so, um... <coughs> it looks like poop. There we go. That looks nice. So now... And by the way, guys, for every single thing, you can use a chef's knife. You know, in the professional kitchen, it's a bit different, but this isn't meant to be a professional lesson. I am a professional chef, but this isn't me going restaurant style. This is home style cooking, so it's just like, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. As long as it tastes good, then it's fine. Uh... So now the chicken wings are done, or chicken drumsticks. So these are probably a little overdone, but like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, the best way to test for chicken it's just use the thermometer and yeah um 160 degrees it's good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the barbecue sauce boys well i don't have a brush anymore i don't know where my brush went so instead i'm just gonna put them right in the pan parchment paper use parchment paper I told you guys 50 times these would stick and well they're not even sticking that bad actually so it's not too bad so I'm just gonna mix these around Oh, and no tips, hints, or spoilers, because this is uh, my first run, so, uh... Now I'm just going to put them back in the oven for a few minutes. Alright. So back in. Back in the oven. Again. Is this going up on YouTube? Yeah, this is going up on YouTube. I think. I might not do a full meal every time. This is a full meal. But, I mean, yeah, we'll see. World record run, yeah. Trilabs back seats. Nice. What's up, Trilabs? Yeah, this is going to be on YouTube. Good chicken RNG. Fantastic chicken RNG. Nice eye. Um, wow. Thank you guys for being awesome in chat. I was so I was expecting a lot of, hey, do this, or you did that wrong. Or, but you know what? You guys are all awesome, as always, because my chat is the freaking best. You guys are amazing. Now, uh, my sous chef just got here. She's late. Jill Valentine, folks. Hey, Jill. What are you cooking today? Jill. Jill. Classic Jill. All right. So. Oh, actually, I need that there. Now we just wait for those.
Pizza! Can you see the chicken again? You will in just a moment. Sous chef, wh where are you going? Hey, you got work to do. Get back here. Get back here. No, you're not leaving early. You left early yesterday. Get back here. Get cutting. Disgrace. Jill Cam. <laughs> Jill Cam. She's coming. Sous Chef Jill. What's on the menu? She's out of here. She said, I'm sick of this. Yeah, of course. Classic Jill. She's going for a knife run right now. Uh, Jill, are you going to cook anything? All right, fine. So if I had some herbs, I would definitely squirb it up, but uh, I don't have any herbs. So you know what? Let's make a nice garnish. Well, this is going to be a garbage garnish, but... Lime here. All right, so let's let's screw it. I'm done waiting. Let's do this. All right. Yo, bro. Oh, looks like they turned out a little well. Hey! Alright, so. As you follow, follow me, ladies and gentlemen. Aerial view here. Aerial view. Oh. Good enough. There we go. Now we're going to add our chicken things. You know, no fancy plating or anything. I'm just gonna put them down. Take the mushrooms. I'll use my hands, because why the hell not? And I'll take my lime slices. There we go. So that is it. That is, oh, whoops, no it's not. No it's not, wait a sec. That's not it. That is not it. There, that's it. Now, don't worry about getting any of that salad dressing on any other anything else because it tastes so friggin good that it'll taste good and friggin anything 
that looks like a shitty plate right there, but you know what? That's all right. That's a shitty plate, Joe, if you've ever seen one. So guys, uh, that's it for episode one of Cooking with Bach. Oh yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will have a better setup very soon. Yeah, well I actually have a, uh, well I can show you guys, um, just one sec. I actually have an herb garden. It's not started yet because our weather's been garbage, but I'll show you uh, my backyard if anyone's willing to stick around for a sec. Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm getting an herb garden. Oh, come on, camera. Do you think? Yeah. I have a pretty decent sized backyard. That almost took all my PC battery. Anyways, guys, my PC's my my laptop's literally about to run out of. Uh, juice but i will check through chat thank you so much for watching everyone and that's it for episode one i will put this on youtube and i'll put this on double beard vision oh shit i can't get it right but whatever i will put this on youtube and i will put this i'll make this a highlight thank you so much for watching it's been awesome and this will be like an everyday thing well every stream day uh, most days. This will happen most days. If not most, then uh, one to two days in between. But yes, I am doing speedruns later. I'll probably go for uh, Resident Evil Jail 100% arranged world record runs like I have been. Um, I just have to clean up the kitchen. I have to eat and then I'll be back speedrunning later. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed episode one and I will see everyone later. Oh yeah, skater.